Gentlemen, this is the last of our amateur title fights. This for the middleweight title. Ryan McNally representing Hama, fighting out of the blue corner. He's in the black shorts with the green trim as he takes on Black Ledge MMA's Jordan Parker. 3-0. He's in the black Nike shorts. Two. Very well put together middleweights here. There's a lot of humanity in this cage. Yeah, big units as we like to call them. Oh, and a right hand from Parker got through there. Oh, it's straight into the full mount. Falling into the full mount in the first 30 seconds or so of the fight. That is huge oh. for Ryan Parker. And he can... Jordan Parker. Yeah, Jordan Parker there looking to isolate the arm. Yeah, McNally's got the cage there if he wants to use it. He's also, if you look, he's trying to get hit like an elbow knee escape to get back to half guard. So he's got options there. Up against the fence, he plants his feet, tries to turn to his, uh, his right shoulder, get his back flat to the fence. But great vines from Parker on the top, not Park allowing him to build his base on the bottom. Yeah, Parker, it's going to take a lot of work for McNally to shift Parker from this position, but he's turning his body into the cage. Yeah, doing the wall walk. But if Parker's savvy to this, he can readjust and uh, prevent it from turning around anymore. Good guard retrieval there for McNally. And now it's time to go back up with a whizzer. Filled with the left knee, and there he goes. Posting back up. But Parker on him like a tramp yeah, on a chip. Yes, yeah, he's <laughs> staying, staying real tight to him. Good work, though, from McNally. Get to his feet. Pummels in the underhook, but just gets dragged back down. Yeah. Brute force dragging him back down from there. Head buried in the chest. Uh, McNally does have that whizzer keeping him tight. That means Parker's going to struggle to let go with much ground and pound when he's been, well, double wizard now. Well, the Black Ledge corner was screaming for head and arm control. Easier said than done when you got Ryan McNally grabbed a hold of you and refusing to let go. Well, Parker happy to stay attached to the hips, nice and low. Not allowing McNally much chance to create an angle to move. God. Got the one butterfly in if he wants to try and elevate him. Jordan just looking again, chip away. Yeah, I mean, most of that's McNally's work, tying him up and not allowing him the space to really get any bigger shots off, but I think Parker at the same time is, as if you look, he's happy to get his arm to the mat and get in close, head buried into the chest. You know, an ideal one wants hands off the mat so he can do this kind of thing. Okay. He's on the guillotine. Only a few seconds left, so he chips away at the body. He's happy to control McNally till the end of the round. Yeah, that's solid, uh, solid round for Parker there, I think. No, nothing exceptionally glamorous, but workmanlike, I think you'd say. Stayed on top, chipped away with what he could. Never really looked under threat. And it's a good way to get your feet under the table for uh, a potential five-round fight. Well, again, you, you'd have thought that the Black Ledge boys will have done their homework, taking a look at, you know, a, a good look at Ryan McNally's fights. And the ones he's lost tend to be when he's on his back. So it is a case that game plan could very well be for Parker to 
engage on the feet, take the man down and control. And every round starts on its feet. The seconds are cleared. Round two of potential five here in this amateur middleweight championship. Ryan McNally, the black and green shorts. No, Jordan Parker, hard. the black ledge man in the black Nike Pro shorts. A all time low kick there as Parker stepped forward. Oh, big right hand from McNally, forces the shot. Yeah, it's wobbled him for a moment. Yeah, instant reaction there for Parker was to close the distance, drive his man to the fence, give him a bit of time to collect his thoughts, and he manages to drag him to the mat as well. And seems glued to the hips, don't want Parker's hips to move. If hips move either way and he can create space, that's when he gets up. But if he can keep his hips square, he's going to really struggle to, uh, to work his way up from that. Hence the low attachments to Parker. The higher he goes, the more hip movement the guy on the bottom has. Oh, oh. tried to throw up the triangle, but Parker was savvy to it. It shows, it shows how well McNally listens to his corner because that was shouted out and instantaneously he threw up the, the triangle attempt. Uh, instantaneously, Parker recognized what was coming yeah. in. <laughs> so. As you see, head burrowed into the chest. Parker's happy to stay close, chip away not doing anything uh, glamorous and hands on the mat tight makes it really hard for the guy on the bottom to get out of there but yes the referee talked to me wants more action and i think that's fair yeah the man from the top is just oh that's a big right hand getting through oh huge hammer fist mcnally eats it well though but gives up the back and this was the action we wanted to see from Parker. Big ground and pound, now forcing himself into a oh, better position. Going to ride the back. Hook in. McNally takes him to the cage, does the right thing, tries to turn into him. Not a great deal of time left to work from this position, though, for the Blackledge man. On the back, though. Ryan looks to turn in, does so. Yeah, double unders was going to make it really hard for Parker to drop for the hips at least. Still well, throws there, but... Looking to try and get a trip of his own. Oh, nice there, exchange knees for the midsection. Oh, clubbing right there for Parker. Oh, oh sharp left hook for McNally. And a, a shot that I don't think Parker saw coming. Are you sure he didn't see it coming? That shot came from last week and he still succeeded in it. Okay, that wasn't expected. Yeah. That's slightly different. And these rounds are flying by. Well, yeah, and a bit more, um, although, Parker did spend a, a long time in top control in that round. Got shook with the right hand early. Hit with a left hook and also got taken down. I think that's a closer round. A much closer round. And McNally knows he can hurt him on the feet. Conversely, Parker knows that for long periods he can control on the ground if needed. Yeah, I love to see when he gets to that top position, you know, getting busy, getting aggressive, and see if it can open up new opportunities for him. I see his eye now, left yeah, eye. Yeah, left eye's marked up. Cage doors closed. Here we go, touch of gloves again. Oh, spinning, spinning back, back fist. fist. Straight out of the blocks. Lovely trip. Goes with the momentum. Oh, so but... does Parker. And I'm trying to take the back now as Parker. Yeah, and that's a lovely bit of, of uh, and he's maneuverability on the ground. Got the arm trapped as well. 
I'm now gonna try and ran underneath the gym. Can he get that second hook in? He's got that, had that yeah, first hook. Okay, now Parker's gonna, but now he's gonna get on top. He's in the triangle low. Got to be careful. Can we get to see McNally work from top position with a little bit of time? Yeah, he got on top before, but no time to work. What can he do here? Certainly more aggressive to start. Yeah, he went body, body, head there, landed a big shot at the head. However, Parker's keeps throwing the guard up high. Looking to step in with a big hammer fist as McNally through the middle. Locked up in the guard again. I don't know what Nico was looking at there. Now Ryan McNally, heavy. And he is like he there's no doubt he's a powerful middleweight. Couple of shots getting through there for the hammer man. Yeah, McNally, see, McNally's getting hands on the body and he's trying to frame and create space to strike. Whereas you saw more from Parker is holding on, hands on the mat, so hands on the hips. McNally's trying to be more aggressive there and uh, Parker's nullifying it a little bit with his controls. But McNally's trying to force the space with those frames on the neck. So far though, it's McNally, Parker hasn't, Hasn't thrown the legs up high, hasn't looked for the arm, hasn't looked for the triangle yet. Just locked down at the moment, right? Oh, another big shot from McNally there. Right in, right in his own corner there, Sean Martin. Yeah, triangle oh. for Parker. Got the leg over. I mean, the cage might be stabbing him a little bit, but if you can create the angle, get that right knee further across, right leg further across, straight across the shoulder girdle yeah, would be where exactly gotta be where he wants it. Yeah, be careful because those toes keep getting He's not gonna have stuck the time. in the cage. I don't think that's the intention. He's just in a bad spot. Yeah. Chipping away in that position in a tight round. That Valley had moments, but. Then was defending the submission attempt. Yeah, I think you've got uh, the first round of the books there for McNally off. It. You know, the sec one was Parker, two was close. McNally landed some uh, pretty damaging strikes. Parker spent a long time on top, chipping yeah. away. And three, I think McNally's won that one. But yeah, I mean, unofficial tallies as always. What it really means is that this is close. Absolutely. What are you telling Jordan Parker if you're over in the corner there, Jeff? Well, I think when he's, he, he probably wasn't anticipating the shots from McNally. Now McNally realizes he can have some success with it. If Parker gets put on his back, he's just made zero attempt to try to get back to his feet. He's closed the guard, he's kept him in, pulled him in, and you can hear his corner shouting for him to get up onto his elbow. I'd be saying, you know, work, don't stay underneath. You're getting stuck underneath for almost a full round. That's the round gone, you know, and that's one round closer to uh, not winning this title, so. Yeah, just a bit more urgency if he gets taken down this time. Round four, potential five, Ryan McNally, the black and green shorts, Jordan Parker, the black ledge MMA man, and the black Nike shorts. I mean, I felt the air from those shots over here. Yeah, it was a fair old swing. Got Parker to work his way in. And they're asking for a pass. His corner want more aggression. They want more into advanced position to be more dominant. Step over in the side control here. Could, couldn't be too bad. Might even get a knee to the body. But Nally, though, again, working really well to keep Parker honest in top position. Yeah, he's not, let, not letting him off the hook with anything. But Nally is in a good position there with the butterfly hook to build up as he starts doing. And sometimes you've got to realize once they get up, start posting there. Yeah, there is a chance of me going to eat a couple of shots, but is the juice worth the squeeze and use yeah. it to get back up to your feet? The answer is yes. Well, both butterflies in now. 
And again, Parker more than happy to stay in tight, chest to chest, head down. McNally is trying to oh. make something happen, but slides through to Mount off that failed hook sweep. Now Parker surely has to try and open up the tap. Yeah, got to move McNally out into the center of the cage a little bit more. Yeah, it's a good position for him now. So he's got out, he's got space. McNally doesn't have the fence to try and use as a, an option. The Parker now posting up. Let's it, some yeah, space. Got to do something with it, though. Yeah, the mount's good. But let's be busy from there. This is better. At least he's throwing something. Absolutely. Stay busy. It's clear he's got a good mount, good control. He needs to compound on his good position with some solid offense. And how far MMA has come, because there was a time when someone was in full mount, fight was over. Yeah. Ryan doing a good job holding him in and not really taking any damage. Yeah. I think it only serious to be on Parker to, to try and consider some damage. Maybe he's going for that punch choke. Is he going for the easy kill, maybe? I think he could be. Can't see where the arms are. Yeah, he's got his right arm under the head. His right arm's gripping his uh, left wrist. And I think he's trying to put that punch choke through, which is harder to do in the amateur gloves. Maybe with a pro glove or, or no glove, that could have worked. But cross like the face. idea. Yeah, that's what I like. You, the cross face, separate the man, and land some shots. And this is a, a good, good round for Jordan Parker. Yeah, 10 seconds left. He might as well open up the taps now. And we're going to go to the fifth and final round after a short minute in the corner for these two fighters. Yeah, so I think now, especially you know, dominance of that round, if anybody's really got to make something happen in round five, it's Paul McNally. He looked like he was working his way back into it, but just uh, Parker there just dragged him back down. They got two, I think. Yeah, and I, I, I think that's exactly what Parker's going to look to do in the fifth. He's going to look to get that top position. He's going to look to control his man. Started to throw off some shots there, but it was more about the control. And I figure that's what he's going to look for now. Yeah, if, it's he ride, if he rides out another three minutes, he's won this. So if he can not take damage and do what he just did. We'll then. see if Ryan McNally steps on the gas a little bit, turns up the intensity. Now he's shown he's got that, that power that can make a difference. He's oh. in round two, he, uh, he should Parker. Oh, oh. nice hook cross. Showing him the uppercut, but Parker shoots anyway and gets in deep. Can he pull those hips out? Yes, he can. Is he going to step in the half guard? Oh, good work from McNally. Got to be careful. Yeah, Parker's going to posture up here, potentially out of this uh, attack. Oh, he gets through to half guard. Now solid look. position. If he allows McNally to turn, he's got the back and he and goes. And the hook's in. Oh, had a hook in, did it work to get that? Right leg in and does as well. Can he flatten Ryan McNally Great out? Great position now, early in the round for Parker. I can't see where they are or what the hand position's like, but it doesn't look great for McNally at the moment. Right, oh, flatten him out, heavy him out and, But didn't you, yeah, he's flattened about twice. He's trying to get that arm underneath. Oh, I can't yeah, see if he's going the for the- of the back, that's a really horrible position. And that means Ryan's either going to turn in to the full mount. Or yeah, I'll turn to the back. Pick your poison. Right. Unless he can shake him off. If he tripods up here, he the chance to park a Oh, off. but he allows him to get that hook back in. And like, as soon as he does, he takes control back. Good shots now coming in from Parker. Oh, did it up. As he opened up the rear naked possibility, not yet. This is the spot if he's going to get it. Right arm spreaded through. Left arm still stuck underneath. 
It's uh, what Parker's trying to do, right? He's get let go, but he was trying to shove the arm through so he could block the arm. Potentially get a two on one, I think. Oh. McNally defending for all he's worth. Been a great way to end the fight if you're Jordan Parker. You've got the back, you're threatening with the rear naked choke. You got both hooks in. It could be on now, it could be on now. Oh, he's right going behind, here it is. I think that's the squeeze to win the fight. And it's there. And he's done it. He earns the submission win, Jordan Parker. Fifth round, exhausted, and gets to his most dominant position of the fight. Seals a rear naked choke. That is fantastic from Jordan Parker. Absolutely big win. Big champion. Moves to 4-0 now. Does Jordan Parker under the Black Ledge MMA banner. And of course, in a moment, we'll be crowned the new UK Fighting Championship middleweight champion. Great amateur fight there. And a big win for Jordan Parker. Corner very happy with him. Corner happy with that performance, especially the finish. We'll give a quick shout out to some of the sponsors this evening, to Miller's Taxis. That was a great performance. Give a shout out to Empire Grappling, to Pitbull West Coast, and let's turn it over to our MC to crown our amateur middleweight champion. Yeah.